Hello friends, welcome to BHP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. And today's session, we are going to create process work definition in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management manufacturing application. So in our previous session on work definition, we have also seen what is process work definition. And in today's session, we are going to create a process work definition in our Oracle Fusion manufacturing application. So we have to complete some basic setup and we, we can say we have to perform some basic tasks for creating the process work definition, right? So first of all, we have to create the work definition name and later on we have to create the work definition header and we can add the, uh, and we can edit the operations. So we will add some operations in the, the process work definition. And uh, after that, we have uh, add some output and inputs in our process manufacturing, right? And at the end, we can add the process resources in our work definition, right? So let's move to the application. And uh, we define the production process for making a batch of 2000 gallon of fitness drink and after defining this uh, work definition, we update it for the cost location attribute of the outputs, right? So first of all, and we will create the work definition name. And after that, we will create the work definition header, right? So this is our application. Click on this navigator and go to the supply chain execution and click on this work definition. Right. So first of all, we have to ensure that our manufacturing unit is 430 because this manufacturing unit in manufacturing parameter we define, we have already defined the process manufacturing, right? Uh, so let's change it. So this is our process manufacturing organization, right? So click on this task list and uh, we have create the manage work definition name. So click on create and let's enter the name is energy drink work process work definition process work definition right you can define the same name in the internal name and also in the description right and the type you can define the standard rework or a transform so we are going with the standard right and let's click on the used in the planning also right and you can also define the stand, uh, start date and the end date for this uh, manage work definition name, right? So let's click on this seven close. So we define the work definition name, right? So click on this task list, click on this manage work definition. Let's click on this create. Right. So this is our create work definition. So we have to define the work method, right? Either you can create the new work definition or you can create by the existing work definition, right? You click on this existing work definition. You have select the name and the uh, process name and you can create with the help of the existing work definition. But right now we are going to create new one. So click on this new new work definition and the work definition and the process manufacturing or a discrete manufacturing. We have already created the district manufacturing in our previous session. And you can create by the uh, this one also. So let's select the process manufacturing 
and we have to uh, define our name for this process. So you can define like uh, energy drink, right? Process work definition. process work definition right and we have to define the output primary output so we have to select our primary output so we have the item y0 y2 8b so this is our primary output you can see it the fitness drink, right? So click OK. So how much base quantity we are going to create it? So we are going to create 2000 gallon, right? And uh, we have to define our work definition. We have already created. So search for So this is our energy drink, right? And this is cost page output size, same as the base quantity, right? So click on next. Now we have to define our operations, right? For this work definition. So let's click on this create add row. And this is also we have defined already in our application. So let's uh, select this is our reconstitute right let's add one more so we have to mix it so mix so and at the last we have to test it so we have the test operation over here right First, we have to reconstitute it. Later on, we have mixed this string, this energy thing, and after that, we are going to cool it, right? When this all operation are the in-house operation, right? So this is our operations. So click on this seven edit. So these are the standard operation we have already defined in our applications. Now we are going to define our items. We are going to assign our items to all the operations. Let's wait for a while, right? So this is our work definition details. And you can see this is reconstitute and this is our resources over this reconstitute operation, right? You can see. And in the same way, in the mix, and we have two resources also. And in the same way, we have the cool operation, right? So under the cool operation, we have also two resources, right? Now let's add items to this operations, right? So this is our output. Let's click on this item tab and search the item 1010508065. And we have JC. Right, so this is our choose that select it. It's okay. Right, and we have to assign this item to 
this operation, this corresponding operation. Right. Now we have to define the quantity for this operation. So we are defining 200 quantity. And based on the quantity, the inverse quantity already uh, default. And we have the secondary quantity always, right? And we have to define the supplier type, which is push, right? So let's click on this, okay. Right, so this is item we have assigned to this operation. Now we have to add the water in this operation. So we have the item that is uh, filtered water. We have to also assign to this. And uh, we have to define the quantity. So what amount of water we are going to assign. So I define 1400 gallon and based on the quantity, the inverse quantity, right? And we have to define the supplier type. So we have to define the operation pool and click OK. So I will define two item, right? First is juice and now is filter water, right? Now we assign some more items. Let's click on that. So we have to define some more item. No, it's not. Now search. Right. So this is our next item we have to define to corresponding search. Here, I think the wrong number. Right. So this is our item. Click on OK. Right. So we have to add this one also to our reconstitute. And how much quantity we are adding. So we are going to adding 400 gallon. Right. And we have to define the supply type is push, right? Now we have click on K, right? So these are the items over here. And we have to define some vitamins to mix with this juice, this energy drink, right? So we have to define this item under the um, mix operation, right? So let's find our item. All three, eight, one, five, three, four. So let's search. So these are the vitamin. Okay. And uh, we have to define quantity. So let's click on this and go to the mix. And we have to define the quantity, how much quantity. We have defined 200 gallon. And we have to also define the supply type is push. Hit OK. Right. So one item assigned to the mix operation, right? So these are the 
inputs we have added to the operations to create the energy drink, right? Now we have to add some outputs. So how can we add, let's click on this output. And we have already defined the outputs over here. This is a Supremo fitness drink, right? So we are going to define this uh, output to this third one, third operation is cool. So let's select it and drag it and drop it, right? And we also, right. So we have to define the quantity over here, how much quantity. So we are going to define the 2000 quantity at the end and uh, we have to define the completion type is automatic, right? And we have to define the percentage of cost allocation is 99%, right? So these are the basic uh, information we have to uh, define to the operations, right? So click OK. Now you can see over here, the green tick mark that's appears on the output and that's indicating that the primary output is now, now assigned to the operation, right? So let's assign some few outputs item to the appropriate work definition operation. So let's search item. Search for the item. And this is a uh, organic waste. This is organic waste this is the output item from this uh, energy drink. So select this one and click on OK. And we have to define this organic waste to our operation. So let's click on and drag it and drop it, right? And we have to also define the quantity. So how much quantity? Let's define 1.7 or 2. And the amount, the use unit of measure is gallon, right? And the completion type is manual, right? And what is the allocation cost? We also define, right? This is the allocation cost, right? Quantity, I think 0.16, right? And uh, click on this, okay. So this is our first output. And we have to also define one more output. So let's search 4087255E, click on search. And this is pulp is also a output from the energy drink. And we are going to define this one into our mix. So drag and drop it. Let's define the quantity over here. This is four. And we also define the completion type is automatic. And the cost allocation is two, right? So these are the basic information we have to define, click OK. So these are the output, right? Now we can update this output item. So this is our first reconstituted operation. We have the outputs, items and resources. And this is our second operation, standard operation. We have also the outputs, items, and resources. And at the end, we have the operation cool. We have also the output. So how can you update these outputs? So we have to click on this, expand all. Click on this, collect. Select our outputs from the corresponding operations. And click on this. 
collected item. Right? Click on action, click on add it. So these are our operations and uh, you can edit it as per your requirement. So let's cancel out, right? And uh, this is our work definition, right? Process work definition. So this is how you can create a, this, create a process work definition and update the costing attribute for the operation output, right? Let's click on seven close. And thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.